the Air Force's aircraft retirement. So here's the funny part. The article I found was from a year ago. So they keep doing this. This is like, the, it's a it's a broken record at this point because we keep having to retire aircraft in our budget. But this one's much worse. So that's why I wanted to bring this up is because the Air Force wants to retire this, this article's from break, uh, Breaking Defense, the defense budget for 2025. They're going to retire 250 aircraft as part of the $188 billion FY25. We're very fixated on being competitive with the pacing challenge of China, which we just talked about. Uh, I think the budget that we submitted moves us forward. And so uh, it's an increase in, of about $3 billion, which is uh, the Space Force is growing. Uh, and we're worried about China, like we talked about. And then there's this whole fiscal responsibility act it was capped at 886 billion and 895. Um, uh, they're procuring fewer fighters, more missiles and no ARRW. So they're procuring 60 jets, 42 F-35s and 18 F-15EX. I don't know if it says it in here, but basically they're going to get fewer EXs because they had talked about. I think the initial buy was like 100 and now it's actually down and they keep reducing the number of EXs because that never goes wrong. Uh, <laughs> and they're going to continue the acquisition of the monstrosity known as the KC-46. Um, if it ain't Boeing, it's probably not going. Or is it going? Who's going with Boeing? For legal reasons, that's a joke and I <laughs> very much love my life. Please do not... <laughs> Yeah, uh, me too. Come after me. Same thing with the Boeing MH139, which they're going to procure fewer of. And that, that's a different article altogether. They're buying fewer MH139s because of they've decided which bases it's going to go to. So some Hel some Hilo bases are just going to have to keep the old Huey. Uh, and then seven T7A trainers at a cost of $233 million for seven wow. trainers. That's wild. That that's is crazy. Wild. And they're going to buy how many? Seven, like, seven. No, for I mean, but oh, like, I I, I it's like three hundred something, right? Yeah, uh, three hundred fifty-three million for the low-rate initial production of the B twenty-one, wow. and of all the things, the B twenty-one seems like it's the shiny penny because it's like on schedule. You know, it's for now. Knock on wood. For now, it's on schedule and doing what it needs to do. So I've heard. Somebody's probably going to correct me in the comments because I've probably not kept up with the news, but. <laughs> Compared to the relative dumpster fires that we have with our procurement, it seems to be the best. Yeah, uh, you're right. $825 million for 550 JASMs, 115 long-range anti-ship missiles, and then uh, advanced anti-radiation guided missile extended range, 128 of those, and then they need to buy AMRAMs, uh, which is, that's a good one to buy. If you're going to buy something, that's probably the one to buy. Um and then they're getting mixed signals about retirement. So here's what they're retiring. Did we find out what, what an ARRW is? Do we know what that is? Is that their, here, is that their early warning? ARRW. Air reconnaissance. Oh, here you go. Air launched rapid response weapon. Oh. Isn't that the thing we were just talking about that we right. need? Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, first hypersonic weapon is now more clear. Although a key test still remains, whose results are official will be informed future investment decision. So this is their hypersonic stuff. Um, so yep. retirements. Here's the bad news. The divest divestiture of the A-10, which has been protected forever, 42 retirements. They're now seeking 50. So last time it was 42. Now it's 56. And the goal to clear out the inventory before the end of the decade. Kennedy wanted to get on the moon by the end of the decade. <clears throat> we, want to we want to get rid of the best cast platform yeah. in the world by the end of the decade. Total list of 250 retirements the service is seeking are as follows. 32 F-22s. That's That one, I mean, so that's the early blocks that we've talked about before, the ones that they're having trouble upgrading. We did talk about them wanting to extend the life. I can kind of see that. 26 F-15Es. Kind of weirdo, so I'll, I'll allow it. <laughs> Uh, 11 F 16 C's. Yeah, why we need those? Send them to Ukraine, though, probably. Uh, which they have not. I'm not, I'm not going to start that rumor to date. There are no plans of any U.S. F 16s going to Ukraine, they're all from other countries. 
65 F15 season, dude. That's pretty much wow. That's it, that's, isn't it? That's it. I mean, what yeah. else? Because really, all this that's is, left. This is guard two, right? This is guard two, right? Yeah, this is just total, total okay. 250 retirements. So this is going to take a chunk out of, you know, you figure 20 something per squadron that's left Portland, New Orleans. Right. So that probably leaves one or two squadrons left total with is no Jack's done. Jax is going to the F 35. Yeah, but they, so, they're still finding um, them now. They're okay. still, yeah, because they're booming the trailer park. <laughs> 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 uh 56 a10s 22 t1 so this is a bad one just because of the pipeline thing you know those but they have to because of the engines now from what i understand they're having some success with the idea that they go t6s straight to the sims so once they get their wings in t6s that's it they don't need the t1 because then they hop in the sim at altus or little rock or whatever and, and go to town so Right. There's there's that. 2012 HH60s. Uh, I don't know anything about the Hilo world, but it seems like a lot. Six C130Hs. The Hs are old. The J models are now, I mean, even the Js are old now. I mean, by now, like, Keesler has the oldest J models out there. Mm -hmm. they, you know, it's, it's what? One EC130, uh, two CV22s are ready. Good Lord. Uh, one E11 and then 16 KC 135s. I don't know anybody that's going to cry about that one. Right. We like, <laughs> not because we appreciate the gas. Nobody kicks ass without tanker gas, but as a receiver, <laughs> it was always like, man, I'd rather the Gucci Mafia, the KC 10, so much easier to refuel on. Dude, they were, I, I think they're retiring the KC 10 this year, right? It's not on, it's not on the list. That's the list. Hmm. Uh, so they requested some R and D dollars for the collaborative combat aircraft drone wingman program. So that's good. Uh, I'll, but we know that's going to be a, probably a disaster in, in acquisitions like everything else. Hypersonic right. attack cruise missile research E four night watch doomsday plane was going to get some more money because doomsday is coming. Just, it'll be here. And then uh, a battle network concept with the combined joint all domain command and control initiative. A lot of acronyms, a lot of PowerPoint. And then uh, there's going to be a 4.5% pay raise for airmen and 4.2% increase in housing allowance. And then uh, Agile Combat Employment Initiative is going to get some more money. And we've got some tough choices when we get to 26. Dude, this is starting to sound like the New Orleans Saints salary cap. Like we start <laughs> picking the can and then we're like, Oh, we don't have any good players left. Cause well, we don't have any money. Sorry. But anyway, that's the, the budget stuff. And I just wanted to talk real quick about the retirements. Um, a 10 being the biggest part, but as you can see, no community really is except for like the F 35, uh, is unscathed. Yeah. You know, you, I don't know. It's so strange, man. You read about all these, shortfalls and then it, it yeah. seems like they're retiring some airplanes that still have uh could still be relevant um uh, but you know it's just a surface level article right so I, you know who knows it i'm sure it's money driven you know like how, how much is it going to cost to keep keep the air force going and they have they, I, they they have to cut somewhere right so it's sad to me especially the a10 uh, i think that's probably the greatest cast aircraft ever built yeah um, and i think it's a shame that we would ever retire that airplane i i've said it before you need a you need you need a10s it's not going to be stealth required every day of the war yeah it just depends on what war we're fighting nah, that's true you know i mean in some ways you know helicopters apaches and stuff are maybe the answer I don't know. You know, it depends on where, what the, what the lay down is. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. And where they're fighting. I mean, I wouldn't want to be in a helicopter fighting, you know, in the I'm, I'm of just, Afghanistan, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm biased. Cause I just flew the Apache with Casmo, uh, DCS. So <laughs> Dude, the Apache's awesome. I am but, the greatest. But, I am now the greatest <laughs> DCS Apache pilot in the history. And I have a pocket full of quarters with, with no eye dominance issues. I suspect. No. Uh, dude, it's it's just uh, you know, there's there's you want to use different tools for different problems, right? So 
Yeah. No, I know. We're in, we're just dude. We're just in dire straits. That's what it comes yeah. down to. We yeah. are now <laughs> right. up to our eyeballs in debt. Yeah. And the bills are coming due, and the choices are having to be made. And it's not the free for all that it once was, uh, because we yeah. just can't afford it anymore. You know, you either have you have the military that you can afford. How can military planners plan when the government uh, is on a constant CR? You can. You can. Right. That's what I'm saying. (laughs) Like, I I have friends at higher headquarters, you know, and it's like they're, they're, uh, what do you do? You know, they used to plan out flying hours three years in advance. And then, you know, you get to this, it's like, dude, this is nothing. We're we're having to just take from one foot and another, take it from, like, it's just a shell game. Oh, yeah. (laughs) We've we've seen it. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Uh, All right. Moving on. 